What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Oh my god. Tick. Talk drama. That's right. This is the first time ever for drama. We're talking about TikTok. We got the TikTok queen, Charlie, going to battle against Lizzo's fans. I mean, this is just insane. But before we get into that story first, we need to talk about James Charles. Now, you guys remember 2019, right? James Charles was canceled, okay? And one of the main arguments against him is that he was, like, going after straight guys and uh, he was being a little bit too aggressive. But then, once more information came out, James Charles was acquitted on all charges due to the fact that, like, these straight guys were really coming at him first. Well, guess what? It has happened again. Last night, James Charles tweeted out, this happens weekly at this point. Some guy slides into my DMs or matches with me claiming they're interested. We talk for a few days, and once they have enough recorded content for a TikTok or a tweet, they post it and claim they're straight. It's baiting, and it's pathetic. Okay, so who baited James Charles? Well, apparently it's this guy, Sebastian Williams. In his TikTok, he exposed the fact that James Charles reached out to him, saw that, you know, he was trying to get James's attention. Sebastian was like, I've been a fan for so long, laughing out loud. I'm so happy you responded. I'm literally shaking. Okay, Sebastian, oh, okay. James responds by saying, send me a vid on here. Tell me about yourself. And of course, when Sebastian leaked these DMs, he put a big stamp on there saying, I'm joking, by the way. I just think it's messed up, right? I just think it's messed up. Like, straight dudes, like, trying to bait James Charles. I, I mean, if you're making it obvious that you're joking with James, fine. But if you're, like, actually trying to bait him, like, for clout, like, no. But that's not all James had to say. James said this. The funny, most embarrassing part of all of this is almost every single one of them actually flirted, sent inappropriate photos, and came crawling back after their post went viral to apologize and say that they were actually still interested. I have receipts on all of them. Not to bring up old tea, but this shows that this stuff is very real and it's been happening before my scandal and continues to happen even more now. Many boys are closeted, curious, or clout hungry and will do anything for attention. It makes dating extremely difficult and confusing. But that's when, and this name's probably gonna surprise you, Rice Gum responded that he's interested. Rice Gum responding to James's tweets saying, hey, they're just scared. They don't know how to handle you. What's up though? Oh my God, no. James Charles responded by saying, no, thank you. Oh, Rice Gum. By the way, uh, apparently this diss track that I talked about with Rice Gum and uh, AB not coming out, completely canceled. I talked to Rice yesterday about it. But since we're talking about James Charles, the beauty guru, let's talk about another, well, beauty guru, I guess you could call her that. Let's talk about Jaclyn Hill. A drama channel known as Yikes tweeted out, we need to talk about Jaclyn Hill's father. He is a full cult leader in Africa. Woo, okay, that's some heat going at Jaclyn, but Jaclyn actually fired back. She posted this on Twitter. This is absolutely disgusting. I refuse to watch this video, but just the title and thumbnail is so awful. What is wrong with you that you think it's okay to even speak about my birth father when I haven't spoke to him in 10 years? Mind your own darn business. Too far. But she wasn't done there because she followed up with this. I understand that people don't like me. They think I'm a liar and they feel as though they can't trust me. I can't change that, but seriously, it's gone too far. People have taken all the fun away from social media and made it so ugly. I'm truly sick of seeing it every day. Okay, time out, okay? Jacqueline, I don't know you as a person, okay? I don't know you, you might be a great person, but what I've seen over the last couple years is that you just use your fans as a piggy bank. Like you have cut so many corners, like selling these products, selling bad products to your fans. It's just like, you don't really care about your fan. Like the reason why people don't like you is because you don't care. You just use them as an ATM to make money from them. I mean, it's so painfully obvious to anyone who pays attention to anything that you do. And I barely pay attention to what you do. And I got that impression. In fact, 
I was watching this one video where Jacqueline said, and I quote, and I've been looking all over for it, I can't find it. Someone else help me find it, right? Jacqueline Hill, she said in this one video, all right, that she was born to own a successful cosmetic line. What? That's like saying that you were born to be a billionaire. You're born to be a millionaire. Like, like to have a successful cosmetic line. I mean, we're talking about millions of dollars. To, to be so entitled to think that you were born to do this and like this is owed to you. Like, no, don't even treat your fans slash customers well. I mean, I could go on a rant forever. Let's just go on to the next story. Let's go on to the big one. Let's talk about the Tic Tac. Jacqueline Hill, if you ever want to talk, let's talk. I just, I think I got this bad impression. I'll give you a chance to change it. Tic Tac drama. And the reason why I'm singing is because Lizzo started singing with her complaints. While she sings, I'll read the text. Tic Tac keeps taking down my videos with me in bathing suits but allows other videos with girls in bathing suits. I wonder why. TikTok, we need to talk. Okay, so Lizzo probably does have a point here, but this caused her fans to go on a rampage and who they targeted was the number one TikTok queen known as Charlie. Now, why do I call her the TikTok queen? Well, if you don't know, she's like huge. She's like the PewDiePie of TikTok. Carly has 33.4 million followers on TikTok. And she was recently at the beach. So she was taking, you know, some TikToks like in her bathing suit. So all of Lizzo's fans started stomping her way with lots of complaints. In fact, some of them came from uh, Pre Pre Prez Hilton. Do you guys even know who that is? It was funny because he got in the drama and the TikTokers didn't even know who he was. I don't want to, I just don't even want to explain. But anyhow, Press Hilton went after Charlie saying, anyone else think it's inappropriate for a 15 year old to dance to this? Charlie responded by saying, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to have fun. That's right, like Charlie is literally just at the beach with her friends doing some TikToks. Like, I don't see the problem. There are girls on twitch.tv that wear less clothes. And then Press... And then Prez Hilton made his own TikTok coming after Charlie. Now keep in mind, guys, okay, Charlie is 15 years old. All these other people are adults that are like coming at her. So Charlie fires back on Twitter. She tweets out, these grown adults need to stop trying to make me feel bad for making TikToks with my friends on the beach. What is wrong with these adults picking on teenagers? And Charlie, I must say I agree with you. Uh, but, uh, I'm an adult and I roast these stupid kids on Twitter all day long. <laughs> Charlie followed up with this. I will continue to post when I feel happy and confident. So if me wearing a swimsuit at the beach is a problem, well, sucks to suck, doesn't it? Charlie with the clap back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stay on these stories and we got news stories. We got a big story behind the scenes that's about to come out probably tomorrow. If you're new here and you want to keep up to date on all the news going on in the community, make sure you take the time to subscribe with those notifications on. And if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. That's how I know you're digging the vids. Ladies and gentlemen, Drum Alert Nation, now over 5,500,000 subscribers. What if I had my own G Fuel flavor? Introducing Cotton Candy G Fuel. Get it now at gfuel.com.